Howdy y'all, it's uh, Phil here from Next72 Hours coming to you from the uh, kitchen again today in just a real brief video uh, looking at this um, little fishing uh, hook holder that I've made here. So basically I had these used, uh, used um, hair gel containers um, from when I had hair and uh, they were just sitting around. I was going to use them as um, geocache containers, but they don't, they're not really that waterproof, I discovered, so um, they're going to go in the trash otherwise, so what I've done is I've taken, I wanted to make something really cheap that's going to go into the vehicle up the top, where I've got my fishing rod holder on the side of the four-wheel drive, and I've got the 100mm tube, now this fits in there just perfectly, this is around about 80 mils, so a little, a little bit of space here. On the top here I've just cut off a bit of my son's school bag, um, strap that he wouldn't notice missing and resealed it up for him and I've just riveted it onto the top of the um, cap here and then I've used a bit of silicon um, just to make it slightly more waterproof than it was uh, where I put those holes through it um, and then I've made up a whole lot of different lures and different rigs here and they're sitting in this top container here, this one here is for catching live baits, these ones here are more for rock fishing, um, for larger fish, um, each one of these has been attached using some rivets that I've got there, and this one I've got a selection of hooks, um, sinkers and swivels for making up extra rigs and uh, setting up the fishing line. And then down below, I've just got a few more um, slightly bigger rigs uh, all set up, ready to go. I've just got some protective foam on the hooks so that they don't go through. That's a smaller one. And here's a, a much larger setup with floating um, attachments on it for those hooks. So basically, this will just sit on the top of my car. In fact, the um, fishing rod holder has been sitting there for a few months now, a couple of months at least um, and it's all camouflaged up so it sort of blends into the vehicle, it's not that noticeable and this will just sit um, on the inside at the end so I can put my finger through there and pull it out and uh, get ready to set the lines up when I'm out fishing so what I'll do is hopefully be able to get out this week um, and get some fishing done or this weekend and uh, see how well it goes. So I might uh, take you guys on a bit of a trip down to uh, Taylor's Mistake, which is this side of um, Sumner, not far from where I live, about a half an hour drive, um, known for its mussels and uh, power and also a bit of rock fishing. So we might go out there, have a bit of lunch, uh, see if we can't get some fishing in, because we've had some pretty beautiful weather recently. Um, let me know what you think. Basically the idea here was just to use something that was going to be recycled or binned anyway and uh, also not to spend uh, any money. So everything I have here, um, yeah, basically it was recycled. I didn't have to buy anything new. So cheers for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.